even traditional organizations need to get to a point where they can have world-class capabilities to build software and most likely in an agile fashion. The reason number one is we have an ongoing digitization of our markets, of our environment, of our economy. And digitization means software. So software as a component of all the products we're building becomes more and more and more relevant. When we think about industries like banking or insurance, it's kind of natural, right? It's a virtual product and so software has always been playing a role. But now think about cars. Right, where if you want to have autonomous driving cars, software is the key enabling factor in this. And we see this with the rise of, of startups who are building artificial intelligence to have autonomous driving. So software is, is ingrained in almost any product today. And with that, having world-class capabilities to build software is critical. Secondly, customer experience today is in many, many cases driven by the experience through software or digital-based interaction. And customer experience is constantly on the rise. Right? The beacons like the Netflix and the Amazons and, and even Apple are setting the standards of what the expectation is. And unfortunately for everybody else, they have to fulfill against these expectations. And so being really close to the customer and being able to iterate on technology and being able to iterate fast on technology and adapting to the changing needs drives then the requirement to be, become way more agile in the way how we deliver software, even for the most traditional organizations and industries. Thirdly, over the last 20, 30 years, for most industries, technology has been seen as a lever of efficiency. We're automating processes, we can take we can, we can increase efficiency of processes, we can increase productivity. However, in today's world, technology has to be seen as a strategic lever, as a way to attack in the market.